Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Ursuline College edition of Back to Back Chef. Uh, today, I am joined by uh, Tyler. Tyler, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and how you're associated with Mets Dining. So, I am the chef manager uh, for Ursuline College uh, in the dining hall and also do I'm responsible for all the catering on campus as well as the new cafe that's going to be debuting as soon as uh, we get back to campus in the library space. Um, so I've, I've been with Ursuline for what, this will be year number seven coming up. Um, and I, I started as a sous chef, moving my way up. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. Cool, awesome. And Tyler, what are we making today? Uh, so today we're gonna do some breakfast sandwiches. They're really popular on the college campus. Um, Tom makes like 30 of them. Uh, Monday through Friday, and then we do them on the weekends. Sometimes we do sausage, sometimes we do bacon. Uh, so sometimes they're bagels, sometimes uh, they're English muffins. So today we're gonna do English muffin. Uh, yours is gonna be a little different, that's all right. Yep, yep, we uh, ran out of English muffins, so I'm going tortillas. Perfect, man, I'm all for quesadillas. Uh, we, all, we both have sausage, so we're gonna do sausage today. Uh, I don't know what kind of cheese you got, but I'm using cheddar. Yep, same here. Sweet. Um, I got one egg, so we can do an egg however you want to do it. I'll oh. walk you through it. Okay. Uh, a little bit of butter and some tomato that we're going to put on this on the English muffin as well. Perfect. All right, let's jump right. in. You ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. All right, so why don't we, uh, we're going to start by getting our pan warm. And then okay. while that's warming up, uh, we'll go ahead and cut our sausage and make a patty out of it real quick, and then we'll get that going. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, a warm pan is always going to be first, because if your pan isn't warm and you start cooking stuff when it's cold, everything's going to stick to it. It'll be a nightmare. Okay. So you got your thing on, like, a medium heat? Medium heat. Got it. On it. You hear the nice right. clicks. Cool. Uh, oh, you got gas. So why don't you turn it on a little lower? Mine's yep, a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm on a three or a two right now, so... All right, that's fine. Um, and then, actually, you know what? First, let's go ahead and butter up our English. Well, I'm gonna butter my English muffin. I don't. Are you gonna really toast your tortilla beforehand? Now I'm gonna toast my tortilla. All right. So you toast your tortilla. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just rip my English muffin in half here. These are already pre-sliced, but. And then I'm gonna go ahead and butter. Uh, one side and I'm gonna the buttered side down in the pan um, and, and it'll when you start to well, once we start to hear some noise we'll know that it's toasting and we need to pay a little more attention to it. Perfect. Uh, I don't know but I don't know about you but I'm hungry I'm looking to eating this breakfast sandwich oh, as soon as you're done. Definitely, definitely me too. So you said that you do about 30 breakfast sandwiches uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about kind of the dining experience at Ursuline? Yeah, well, um, we have, well, we serve Monday through Friday, we serve breakfast, lunch, dinner um, across, I don't know, we have main plate station, we have a salad bar, we have a deli, and then we have a grill and a pizza station. Um, oh, man. It's something that's we're nice and ready. Yeah, except I don't know how to turn it off. There we go. Okay. Um, so we have five stations in the cafe. We make soups from scratch. We serve three meals a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, the weekends, we do a brunch service. Um, and yeah, there's, there's different hours that the students will learn uh, for which meal period. Um, we, we try to do as much local as we can. Uh, we do as much from scratch as we can. And overall, I think we provide a pretty good uh, service uh, for what we do for the, in the cafe. So you got your tortilla in the pan? Got the tortilla in the pan. All right. And I'm, uh, your tortilla is not burning, right? It's not burning so far that I can tell. All right. I'm popping my English muffin in, and uh, I'm just gonna push it down. I'm gonna grab another pan to set on here just so it stays nice and Ooh, all right. connected to the pan. Cool. I don't know if you'll need to do it with the tortilla. It's already flat. Okay. 
All right, so yeah, breakfast sandwiches, man, they're they're just delicious. Plus, they're quick and easy for the students. On they're on their way to class. I think that's why they're so popular. They like to just pop in, grab one of those, get a cup of coffee, maybe a, a piece of hand fruit, banana, orange, or something, and then head out. Do you get right, a lot of students um, coming through? Normally what's that? In the morning? Do a lot of students come through in the morning? Yeah. Um, so when the college switched to like eight o'clock classes starting, uh, we started to get real busy right when we opened at seven thirty. So seven thirty to eight is one of the busiest times, and then I think some classes get out at nine that first class. So we get another big pop between like nine and nine thirty, and then uh, breakfast is over at ten. So we always get that. The people who don't have class, they like to wait till nine fifty. You know, squeeze in that little extra sleep. Right. So, uh, go ahead and let's let's cut this up while our right. bread is finishing toasting. Got so, it. I think I don't know if yours has it. Mine has lines on it. Uh, we're gonna want a section of the lines, maybe a, like a line and a half. So okay. it'll be around two ounces, three ounces. Got it. And I guess this is going to be like the messiest part of this whole thing because we're going to have to form a patty with our hands. Okay. Got it. You got you got a nice chunk of sausage there. Got a nice chunk of sausage. I am ready to go. All right. I also have a chunk of sausage. So, uh your hands are clean. I'm hoping you started with clean hands. Yes. All right. So Got go ahead. Hands. I just like to stick it in my palm, and uh, you kind of want to push it pretty thin because it's gonna shrink back up when it gets heat on it. Okay. Uh, it, it might stick to your hand a little bit, but you can just peel it off. Got it. Have you been cooking for forever? How how long have you been cooking, Tyler? Uh, really since just. The, out of after high school um, is when I kind of I knew I wanted to go to culinary school. I used to cook a little bit with, at home. Uh, really, it was inspired by my grandmother, who I thought was one of the best cooks. Her lasagna is to die for. Still my favorite. Uh, that's kind of where I got started. So I graduated high school in 2005. So I've been cooking since then. I'm gonna wash my hands because now I got sausage all over. I'm gonna do the same thing. Hey, is your tortilla out of the pan? It probably should be, right? Right, yeah. All right. Got My it. English muffin is done. Uh, it's got nice golden brown on the toasted surface. I'm just going to set it on my cutting board. Perfect. Me too. All right. All right. So now we got a warm pan. You can go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit more. Sure. I would say, like, let's do like a five for you on gas. Okay. And I'm, uh, I got mine on a six just because I know this this uh, pan or this heat a little better. And let's go ahead and put our sausage on there. Okay. We're brown this guy up. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Yeah. Now I'm just going to kind of rinse my hand again real fast. Yeah, me too. All right, what's the next step, Chef? All right, uh, let's go ahead and cut our tomato that we're going to put on this sandwich. Okay. Um, and then really, we're just waiting on sausage, and then we're going to cook the egg. Perfect. So I need a knife. What did I do with my knife? All right, so tomato, uh, you comfortable with a knife at all? I'm, I'm comfortable with the knife, so you tell right. me what I need to do. Well, I have these little tiny cherry tomatoes, so... I don't know much uh, bigger. I'm going to cut mine lengthwise. Okay. So, uh, you know, the top part where the stem connects to the tomato. Right. Uh, you said your tomatoes are a little bigger than mine? Just a little bit bigger, yep. 
Why don't you go ahead and cut yours uh, so lay it on its side, so the stem pointing one way. Okay. And just nice slices, I don't know, a quarter inch thick. Got it. Actually, I'm going to do the same. I laid mine on the side, so. But I'm going to have to cut, like, four of these guys. While you're cutting, and I'm going to sit with mine, can you tell me, Tyler, uh, you know, what what is the importance of nutrition to a college student? You know, what's the, port the importance of food to education? Can you tell me about that? Yeah, um, I think where food connects to students, um, A, we have a lot of athletes at Ursuline, right? So we have a lot of students that need uh, nutritious meals as well as uh, just calories, right? Uh, you right. need calories for studying. Uh, it's important to eat well um, just so that overall you're in good health. Uh, so we have the salad bar with tons of nutritional offerings. Uh, we try to offer a vegan vegetarian item every day. Uh, we always have two vegetables available on main plate uh, for lunch and dinner. Um, and really, it's just about eating balanced diet, uh, I think. So uh, fruit in the morning, try to get your veggies in. We try to supply them. If not, we, uh, you know, if you don't see something we like, we encourage students to just ask for something else and we'll, we'll definitely try to meet those demands. But, um, cool. you know, drink plenty of water, eat your vegetables, portion size, big thing, right? Because students serve themselves. Uh, that might change with the whole virus thing that we're going through, but uh, right. Either way, serving size is important because it's really easy to uh, just take more than you need and you eat it because it's there in front of you. How's your sausage doing? So it's, it's looking like it's brown enough a little bit. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's just flip it. So if you have a spatula. I have a spatula. Hopefully yours isn't sticking too much. Oh, yeah. Mine is brown. It's lovely. Yeah, mine too. It looks good. All right, so we're gonna flip it. Um, we're gonna let it go for, probably need about a minute or two here on the other side. Hopefully Great. your heat's doing all right. Yep. Um, we just wanna make sure this thing gets cooked all the way through. Nobody wants raw sauce. No, of course not. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and get out a piece of cheese. Okay. And I think what we'll do what we'll do is we'll, uh, as this sausage is almost done, we'll set the cheese on top, we'll melt it, and then we'll get our egg going in the pan because it's already hot. Uh, we might want to take just a little bit of butter or oil to put down so that the egg doesn't stick. Perfect. I cannot open my cheese. That's okay. That's a, that's a lifelong issue for me, too. There we go. Is uh, breakfast, what's your favorite breakfast food? I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. You're welcome to ask me questions. My favorite breakfast food, um, you know, I'm somebody who really likes a nice savory breakfast. So I'm into like, you know, bacon, eggs, sausage, the kind of classic fry breakfast. What about you? Uh, I'm a pancake guy. I oh. love pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes, blueberry pancakes, banana pancakes. If it's in a pancake form, I'm eating it. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Do you like those tiny ones, or do you like the big, really big stacks of pancakes? I, I don't really discriminate. A pancake's a pancake. Yeah, yeah. Right. cool. We could have, like, 25 little silver dollar guys, or we could have, like, four big stacks, like, one big nice stack. Love it. I don't really do – I'll take a little butter, but I don't really need a lot of syrup. I just like – the pancake. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on my sausage. You should Perfect. do the same. I'm going to do the same. And uh, I'm going to let this sit here for, let's give it 30 seconds. Then we're going to take it out and we're going to get our egg going. How are you going to uh, cook your egg? Um, you know, I'm a scrambled guy. Scrambled? Yeah. All right, well, I'm a... I'm going to do a fried egg. All right, well, then I'll do a fried egg, too. Well, okay. Yeah, let's 
let's do. All right, we'll, we'll do. I'll do. We'll both do fried egg. All right, got it. Scrambled eggs is like, I don't know, on the on the breakfast sandwich, I just feel like it might. Me, classic is just like a fried egg or an over easy egg. But what do you do? All right. Uh, I think I'm confident that my sausage patty is fully cooked. Got it. So I will take mine off. Feel like yours is? Is it firm? Is it? Yeah, is it cheese is melting. Cheese is melting. Looks firm. I'm I'm excited. I think it looks good. All right. So let's set it just over by. Well, your quesadilla or oh, your by uh, by your tortilla. I'll put mine by my English muffin. Um, you have a little oil you could put in the pan. Yeah, I'm gonna use a little butter. Does that work? Yeah, butter works. I will also use butter. I have some sitting right in front of me from the when I toasted the English muffin. And it looks like I need to turn my pan down just a touch. Is your pan smoking? It is not. All right, good. All right, so fried egg is probably the easiest egg to cook. Well, I don't know. Scrambled might be the easiest. Fried egg is the least amount of preparation. We're just going to crack our egg right into the pan. Perfect. I'm going to do that. Okay. All right, go for it. Any, any particular technique do you say for cracking an egg? I like to smash the, not smash, I like to uh, tap the egg on a flat surface. Okay. And then, uh, I just use my thumbs in the indent that I made okay. to pull apart. Ooh. All right. Here we go. All right. That looks nice. Uh, and then with a fried egg, the first thing we're going to want to do is just go ahead and pop that yolk so that, okay. it, so that it cooks through easy enough. I would say by far this is the way. Uh, it's one of the most popular egg methods that the students also order. Okay. Fried. Uh, we get a lot of fried egg requests on the grill as well. Oh, students cool. come over there and get breakfast sandwiches, even for dinner. We can never go wrong with a fried egg, I feel like. Yeah. Um, I like to salt and pepper my egg after we flip it. Okay. All right. Good deal. Have you flipped so, yours already? No, I have not. Okay. Um, mine, I'm, it's starting to turn, the white is starting to basically cook through. Um, as soon as I get browning on the edge, I had to flip it. So if you got some browning on the edge of your egg already, go for it. Okay. All right. Not quite yet for me, which is good. Okay. But your yolk is broken. It's probably got a little bit of runny white on top. Yes. All right. Perfect. So as we're waiting for this to fry up, is there anything that you think uh, a college student can do to kind of avoid that dreaded freshman 15? Uh, I'm going to go back to talking about portion sizes. Really, it's, I mean, freshman moves on campus, right? You don't have your parents there. You got flex dollars loaded up on your card. You get all you care to eat meals with plethora of dessert options, the grill, wings, breaded mozzarella sticks. It's all about balance and then portion size, right? So, right. you know, if you eat 80% of the time, they say that one, the other 20%, you can, you know, enjoy the, let's call them the finer things. So, you know, you have a nice balanced breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and flip my egg real quick. Got it. Uh, so you have a nice balanced breakfast. You might have salad for lunch. Um, and then for dinner, maybe you have a burger and you have a, a portion of fries, you know, not a whole plate full. Um, or you have, you know, a breakfast sandwich. And I would say you need to limit the amount of snacks you come into the cafe and get as well. But, right. you know, try to be sensible with your portions. And like I said before, make sure you eat fruits and vegetables as a part of your meal. Um, and don't just go for the super delicious things like loaded mashed potato bowl, which is probably the most popular thing on campus. I mean, you get students like salad portions. Ooh, nice. Delicious, don't get me wrong, but you can't do it every day. Right. All right, uh, your egg is probably... Probably all cooked up. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna set my sausage on top of my egg. Okay. While it finishes, and then all we're gonna have to do is move our egg to our English muffin, put the top on it, put our tomatoes on, or I'm sorry, put our tomatoes on, put the top on it, and then we should be good to go. Cool. All right. You can turn, you can turn the heat off. Okay. On your pan, because at this point we're just basically waiting for that little last bit of white that when we flipped it to cook through. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty confident mine's done at this point. I think so for me too. All right, so you got your quesadilla. Got it. Your, your egg, sausage, cheese on there. Great. How's yours looking? Uh, How's yours looking? Uh, here, I'll bring it over. I got a tomato falling off, but. Oh, look at that. Yours is nice and beautiful. Here, I'll show you mine. Got the tortilla. Look at that. Yeah. So you're gonna to fold yours up. I'm gonna put my top on, and there we go. Perfect. We got a breakfast sandwich. Are we taking the bite? Oh yeah. I mean, right. we have to. Mine's right. gonna trip everybody. Mine too. Mine too. Okay, okay ready? Hmm. Man, that's top notch. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. I will definitely be eating the rest of that. I'm gonna wipe my hands off real quick so I can finish talking to you. Me too. Yeah, I think, oh, it's, this this got to be a close second breakfast for me. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> this is like mid lunch, right? Yeah, that's okay though. I had coffee this morning, so I was fine. So you're good, right? Oh yeah. So Tyler, since we're all kind of finished up cooking, um, tell me what are what do you think? you know the student's favorite menu item is and then what is your favorite to provide to the students oh um i think i'm gonna name like three things that i think the students really like the students like anytime they can build something themselves right so we do like uh we do a build your own sushi bowl so we have like sushi rice with all the different accompaniments that you can put on top of it uh, they like the build your own stir fry and the build your own pasta bar days. Those are always been popular. Um, I would say that the students really like the mashed potato bowl, which we talked about. So you got mashed potatoes, gravy, popcorn, chicken, popcorn, shrimp. It's far from the nutritious side of things. Right. Um, and uh, what else? Basically anything pasta tends to go over pretty well lasagna uh raviolis pierogies the carbs are king let's put it that way nice uh, and favorite thing i like to do uh, well I, I mean i enjoy the sushi uh that was kind of that's kind of my thing uh i don't get to do it as much just because i don't have time to spend in the kitchen all the time but i knock out the sushi rice for the guys and then they basically take care of the rest that's awesome well, Tyler, I appreciate you walking me through this lovely breakfast sandwich. Um, is there anything that you think uh, any incoming or prospective students need to know about Mets dining, about the services that you provide for Ursuline College? Is there anything new that's coming that you're really excited about and you want to tell students who will be showing up to campus in the fall? Uh, so students who are coming on campus, just know that there is a plethora of food options. Um, we do a four week cycle menu, so you will see things again that you might have enjoyed uh, without seeing them over and over and over again. Um, you know, there's, like I talked about the options, know that uh, if you ever wanna know if something's local, 
Uh, we do have a board up by our registers that talks about the foods that we do buy local. Um, and and uh, the other thing I'd like to really tell the students is if they see something or they want something that they don't see, like their mom's making those and providing them uh, so that you know you feel like you're at home and that you, you get a little taste at home because that's what we all enjoy. Um, things coming down the pipeline that students might appreciate. Uh, so like this breakfast sandwich, for instance, um, that's been working uh, this summer on a bunch of, it's this program called Nutritics that we're gonna tie our menu into. So mm -hmm. we'll have nutritional information basically available, I'll say for, I'll just be conservative, 75% of the items, um, you'll be able to go on the website and you wanna know, what's in the chicken tetrazzini or, or how many calories are in the mashed potato bowl well if you get chicken you'll be able to look that up um you'll also be able to know a little bit more about uh, any allergens it you know if the soup of the day has gluten in it or uh if it's vegan or if it's vegetarian cool that's amazing well tyler again i really appreciate you taking the time to join me today um, helping me cook a delicious second breakfast for myself today. Um, and uh, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Yeah, man. You take care, Mike. It's fun. Right, Enjoy your sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. You too. All right. Later, buddy. Bye, Tyler.